Okay, problem 10. We're trying to find a value of the constant k, if possible, that will make the function continuous everywhere. So what we have is we have for part A and part B. So what do we have? To, what is going to be the point of change here on this? One. One. So we're really trying to find and seeing if it's possible to make it continuous everywhere. And we see that this is a continuous function here and that x squared polynomial is also a continuous function. So if we just go ahead and set it for 1, we're going to have to find 7 times 1 minus 2, so that's the left side, is going to equal to k times 1 squared. Is that right? Okay, let's go ahead and solve this. Can we do any combining at this point? No. Yes. Yes. Seven minus seven minus be five, right? Equals k squared. And once it's k times one squared, so k squared. So this is k. Well, it'll be just k, right? Because one squared is one. And then. So, pardon me? Very, very good. Okay, did you hear what Angelica said? Angelica said something that's, that's kind of the most forgotten part in many instances of being successful in math and in engineering and anything, and that's checking your work. Because it's easy to make a mistake. So let's go ahead and check our work to make sure we didn't make a mistake. So if we go ahead and plug in 5 for k times 1, it equals 5, and then, so this is going to equal that, the left side, so it checks. So check, and we say 5 equals k. So that's part A. Let's go ahead and look at part B. What's our point of change here? 2. 2. So how are we going to set these up? K. 4 k. Okay, we're going to set in 2 times 2 for x, right? Plus k equals k times 2 squared. Is that right? Yes. So we have 4 plus k equals 4k. Right? Alright, what's going to be our next step to solve for this guy? Uh, Get the k along. I mean, yeah. yeah. And subtract k. Subtract k. It is subtract k. I think that's probably your most efficient way. So we have 4 equals 4. 3k. 3K. Right? Four. And then how do we solve for k? Divide by 3. three. So we go ahead and divide by 3. Divide by 3. K equals four thirds. And what do we have to do yet left to make sure that we got it right? Let's go ahead and check. So here we got four thirds times two squared, right? That's this side. And then two times two plus four thirds. And this is going to be 4 times 16, so this will be 16 thirds, right? There you go. Will be 4 plus 4 thirds. And this 4 is 12 thirds, right? 12 plus 4 equals 16 thirds, so that's 16 thirds also. So that checks, and so therefore, we found the value of K. <coughs> All right? Okay.